make it to class. Oh, hi. My name's my name's Poppy, and I know you probably heard my teacher just yelling at me. Poppy, get to class. <laughs> Sometimes I get in trouble at school, um, because they say I'm a disorganized mess. Oh wait, where's my homework? Did I bring my homework? Well, uh, th they say it's not good to be a disorganized mess. The, the teachers tell you that. Are you a disorganized mess? Because, believe you me, they tell you not to do that. Now, why would you not want to be a disorganized mess? I mean, well, I guess sometimes they told me, oh wait, here's my writer's notebook. Oh, oh yeah. In, in writing, they, they tell me, my teachers, they tell me that I'm a disorganized mess, but they tell you, in writing, you shouldn't be. And these are the reasons why. They say you should probably plan out what you're going to do so you don't look like a disorganized mess. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, what they should probably, what you should probably do when you're writing is probably plan it out a little bit and don't be disorganized like I am. <laughs> I don't know how you could plan out your writing, but oh, have you ever heard of pre-writing? I, I remember my teachers talking to me about pre-writing, and I think that's probably something a really good idea that you should do before you write so you're not a, you know, disorganized mess. Now, the question is, how should we pre-write? I mean, I'm sure your teachers will talk to you about a couple of different ways you can pre-write, but I know one way is to talk about the beginning, the middle, and the end of the story. Pre-writing should just be your thoughts on the paper. It shouldn't be complete sentences or long paragraphs and all of this stuff that of the exact same thing you're going to write about. It should just be your initial thoughts, your beginning thoughts of what you're going to do. Um, another way you could probably pre-write is that hmm, our teachers told us that there's this thing and you make this big square and these little squares and what's that called? And you put topics in there and list the topics. Four square! You should, you could also use four square to write. I get to class! <laughs> I'm coming! I have to tell them about pre-writing! And so, just real quick, you can also use Foursquare to write, where you write your topics and you just write bullet points or lists down to explain what you're going to write about. Like I said, though, you're not going to write complete sentences or long, detailed paragraphs. That You'll save that for the actual writing itself. So, like I said, I better not get in trouble and get called a disorganized mess. So, don't forget to pre-write. <laughs> Don't be disorganized like me!